Hi, we're here at McLean Square in Glasgow where we've installed SP Energy Network's first net zero secondary substation just across the road from the COP26 venue. What we've been trying to achieve here is we've been installing new types of switchgear and transformers to give us an environmental benefit and efficiency benefit and in increase the resilience to our customers as well. So the, the environmental benefits we've brought in here is we've changed the insulating gas in the switchgear away from a greenhouse gas to something more environmentally friendly which is clean air. We've also changed the insulating fluid in the transformer which is uh, now 100% biodegradable and renewable fluid and that allows us to um, where we don't think the, the switchgear or the additions formal will leak, it gives us far more security and certainty around about how we treat our local surroundings and the equipment that we use for that. So for the efficiencies, the transformer uh, has an associated level of losses with that, so we've moved forward to a new Eco Design Directive compliant transformer which has increased our uh, sorry, decreased our losses that we'll experience to this transformer, so less of that energy that's generated and tried to be passed through to the customers is lost as part of the process. So how we changed the build of this substation was we looked at all the different components that we had here and we kind of used a design process to decide how we were doing that. So we changed the concrete and we used a different type of concrete which had resulted in a 40% reduction in the, the CO2 equivalent of the concrete. And we've also done some uh, exploration around about the structure you see about us, the, the enclosure, to make sure that was the one that came with the lowest, the lowest carbon equivalent. So we did the, the design, but also used carbon as part of that design process, as opposed to we would normally just do it by what's the cheapest or what's the, the most available. We actually tried to use a carbon tool to decide how we did our design. So to improve the resilience, what we've done is we've introduced a lot of smart technology. So we have a remote tele telemetry unit that will allow us to see a lot of the information coming back to, to our control centres. We have got uh, outgoing ways on each of the cables going out so we can see where the power's moving and flowing. Also allows us to detect faults far quicker and make sure we get our customers back on as quickly as possible. With this installation, this is our first in the UK that we've installed. And what we're trying to do is we picked market readily available solutions and we've also picked some items that are going to be in our new framework starting in the next couple of months. So what we hope to do is take the learnings from this project and the innovation that we've used and try and drive this into our new frameworks, standards and specifications to make this become business as usual.